Well, you know, in a lot of the research that's been done, people are trying to get trying to get to the answer to this question, right? Why is a veteran homeless? Well, why is a veteran homeless in the first place? And and in a lot of the past literature, especially before the five year plan to end homelessness, veterans were disproportionately represented among homeless males. They they re, they they were like thirty three percent, which if veterans are 12 to 15 percent of the general population, then why of the homeless do we have so many more? And this is a question that everybody has been researching programs and service provision and demographics and trying to answer. And and I've done a pretty thorough lit review <laughs> because I just finished my PhD and that's exactly what I studied. But you know the 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 end game to that is sometimes I get the sense that these are folks who who may or may not have struggled whether or not they'd ever been to the service that the service ends up being one of the proudest periods of their life a constant reminder of when they they gave selflessly when they 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 did something very successfully they got trained in a skill they were really part of something and I think that most of the veterans that we deal with carry that around they're very proud of that 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 ends up being um, you know, kind of a, a beacon for them that eventually brings them round to our services. And a lot of times people didn't even know they were eligible until they get to that point of being homeless. Because for whatever reason, I've heard it time and time again, well, I just didn't know I was eligible. Well, I thought that was only for people who were poor or didn't have insurance or some guy needs it more than me. You know, not, there isn't really a global understanding of this idea that you know, the medical centers receive funding based on the number of veterans that use it, you know, kind of like a school system in a way. So, you know, if veterans had that understanding, maybe they would be more likely to sign up. I don't know. But a lot of times, the people that we encounter, which is not necessarily representative of our whole medical center, they don't come to us till they're in crisis.